flush from a glorious four hours sleep, I can see that Philip and Amory have already unloaded the van because there's the lovely stone bench that we brought back with the fountain. So now we have two benches and one little chair and tables. I think one other little chair and tables may be on the other side. That would start to look more symmetrical. It's a stunning day for Mummy and Percy to arrive. I'm so happy that they'll be seeing the courtyard like this. Less happy that my poor four hours sleep adult brain is going to have to get up, return the van and then drive to Limoges to pick Mummy and Percy up. Luckily the sunshine's given me quite a lot of energy. Oh, I like it. I know it's not exactly the same as the other one, but I think they marry really well. I'm not sure it would have been worth going to the expense of a set of four, when I can just get them one at a time as they come up cheaply at auction. I think Philip's enjoying himself a little bit too much. Obviously, we regularly clean the car, and this has absolutely nothing to do with Mummy's arrival. And nothing to do with the peak of food that was on top of the car. This is it, isn't it? The moment has arrived. Whilst we were away, the little chicks in the incubator were born. Not many of them had been fertilized. We thought there would be three. We, we found when we were candling that some were alive, but apparently there's 11. We haven't seen them yet. The birth of the chicks has been the big excitement in the household. We are so gutted we missed it. But everyone was taking footage for you. So I have lots of footage of their arrival into La Land. What is happening here? Oh my god! Look at this ones! They look like quail, yeah? They do, yeah. The little stripy ones, aren't they gorgeous? Oh, oh they're walking in the water, oh. so oh, wow. <laughs> probably yes. they don't know what to do. <laughs> so this one's just trying. So he's unzipped it round here. Oh, wow! Um, I'll just oh. give it a little bit of help. Oh, you can do that. You're just being lazy. Go You're join your lazy. brothers and sisters. This one here is picked. You can see this. Oh, look, yes. Oh, look. No, you're starting, yes, because you're helping. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll just quickly candle some of these. I think this one is the, that's a clear one. Okay. I'll be mega quick. Let's see how he's progressing. Oh, you see it's yeah. such a beat moving. Okay, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Some are yeah. fluttering. Yeah. And, oh. Okay. There we go. Over here. What's going on here? So this is fantastic. Come on, brother. Oh, they're helping him. Yeah. Come on. Come and play. Oh, this one's Please picking. help him Let's out, Kirsty. Look. Put a little crack there on the side. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's on his way. Yep. So wow. That's another one. Yeah. Wow. Oh. I thought we would have like one or two. <laughs> no, no. It's a good incubator. It's a family. Um, Look at those ones. Oh my god. They're so cool. That one hasn't pipped yet, but it's definitely moving. Oh, he's he's pecking at food. Oh yes, yes. yes. Oh. Don't understand nice. what to do. Um, so, the stripy oh. ones are from these bantam eggs, so they are catwoman's children. <gasps> ah. <laughs> so it's happened. Little chicks. Is coming into the world and they are resting and some are eating this yeah. one there One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And oh my god, they're so cute. I'm sorry. Oh. Ah. The big mole. Are you admitting all of them? Yeah. The great relocation of chicks. Uh, this is slightly ominous. Oh. Hello, Hello. French. <laughs> <laughs> uh. How long do we have to wait? Uh. Wait for what? For, for Until them. we can eat them? Therefore, <laughs> <laughs> they're they're picking up and hugging. Oh my goodness. Look, look at that. She's so cute. So cute. Salmonella Central. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be okay. <laughs> Do you want to hug him? I'm okay. I uh, know. No. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite okay. <laughs> 
it's so cute. Is the temperature change? I mean, I know they've got the lamp, but yeah. right now they're exposed, you know. So this this is going to be very warm. And she said if they like too cold, we can lower the lamp even more. Okay. Then they will be warmer. We were hoping that Dame Maggie Smith, the largest of our chickens, would sit on the eggs. She was very, very broody and that we'd get some eggs naturally that way. And just in case, as a backup, we also put eggs into the incubator. Unfortunately, Maggie Smith abandoned the nest, so we're having no luck with our broody hens at all. Oh, we had such luck here. <gasps> Hello, you precious, precious chick. That one got in his bed. I think one of the others has pooed on him. Ah, uh, oh. Oh, that's all right. He's going to eat it off, so oh, that's, that's, lovely. that's okay. That's helpful. I'll bring another one so it's not alone. Oh, it's darling. Here, I'll go and get a friend for him. The minute we got his friend, he stopped being distressed. They just need to be together. I don't think I've ever seen you so happy. So there we have Pingu, and he's actually on an exploration a up penguin. Philip's arm. Penguin. Wouldn't hold them for more than one minute and then put them back under the heat lamp. But it's good that they get used to us as well. That's really nice. We've got another penguin. I don't know how we'll tell them apart. This one's got a little white blob on the end of his. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, the feathers are on his beak as well. But here I wanted to introduce you to Catwoman Mark II. It's the smallest of all the chicks in completely black. Oh, I love that one. I'm going to put this one back under the heat lamp straight away. It's so tiny. I wanted to keep it super, super warm. Super warm. Oh, well, his friend's warming him. Oh, look at his feathers. They're all falling asleep in just a little heap together. Oh. <gasps> That's the thing, whenever one wakes up, they immediately step on all the others and wakes them up as well. I think we should call this one Stephanie. Oh, because I'm so good. You don't always say that. <laughs> You're not always good. It's so calm. I was just burning his little head. It is awesome. It is. It's so cute. Do you have a favourite? The littlest one. The, the, the black, black one. one. Oh the black goodness. one. The small one. Yeah. I don't know. I, I fall for like the smallest The tiny one. one. I agree. I actually was saying the same thing. But the ones that look like penguins are amazing Oh, yeah. Too. yeah. And the striped one. Yes, Bye-bye, lovely person. Will you make mummy's room really nice? I know you will. You'll be so much better at it than me. I've moved um, a mirror in Ooh. She was saying that she can't see herself. Oh, for a full-length one. Mm -hmm. She'll love that. And um, remember, we got the little lemon meringue pies for Percy. Yes. I think I'll put it on her paw paws. I think she really likes it. Bye-bye. So. Bye. See you very, very soon. You just arrived. I know, and I'm rushing off again, but it's pretty exciting. Yeah, I know. Mummy and Percy. <laughs> I mean, it's not as though that's the sound of emergency room, all right? We are definitely not panicking. Bye, darling. Back soon. I'm so happy it's such a gorgeous day for Mummy and Percy to see the chateau like this. Can we spot them? Yes, I can. Look at that glamour Percy with the sunglasses. Look at these marvellous people. You should not be carrying <laughs> anything. And no, I'm not mum. carrying anything. Yeah, you are carrying something. Is that all the luggage you've got? Stylish. We're here. No. <laughs> How does it feel to be back, Mummy? Oh, wow, well, I'm full of trepidations. Really, delight was what I was going oh, for, look, but look. we can go with trepidation. Well, that what's Ruby? that? Ruby has come to meet you. Oh, oh no, no, it's, it's a not dog. Ruby, it's a dog. It's a dog. The guests have started to arrive for the weekend. Look how pretty the courtyard oh, is. Tim. Darling dog. And look, the peacocks oh. are here to say hello. Oh, hello. Madame and Lou, Monsieur Peacock. And you oh, don't know if you've lovely. noticed, but on the other side of the fountain, there is a new stone bench on that side as well now. We only had one stone bench by the fountain before, and now there's two stone benches on the other oh, side. Oh, wonderful. So we're getting there. Yes, that's lovely. But it's pretty exposed to sit there. Well, I that's love... that's why there's the tree. I need see. a bench there in oh, that corner. Well, you've got a bench in that corner. How's that bench? It's not a, that's not no, the same. No, not it. Okay, that's the wrong corner. <laughs> oh, lovely. There you go. There you go. Have you been proud?
practicing a long time. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, you're a That's what I was saying as well. And Tachinette said the same thing. You look Hello, about 10 years younger than when you left. Hello, Tom. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. I like the stability you bring. Are you happy to be back? I don't know. Yes. You look very happy though. I like your answer, Percy. We try to train the chicks to line up for your arrival and curtsy, but they're just, they're not doing it just yet. Little gorgeous beans. I love them. They're beautiful. Oh, they darling. Look at them. I was told to come and meet the chicks, and I found you too, but there are some others here as well. Very happy and very relaxed. Yeah, they are relaxed, aren't they? Yes. They're not scared of anyone, which is yeah. lovely. It's so good to have you back. And you see, there's fun things at La Land for you. This is where you should be. We'll have to come and look after them every day. So what have you done? That's what the difference is. Well, Mama. Oh, wow. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, well, apple tree. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's oh. lovely. Oh, oh, my goodness. Thank you. Okay, you spoke oh, was that? Wow. That was the lemon meringue for you, Percy. Yes, that's what I said. Well, the apple tree and lemon meringue. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That, exactly, because I remember you telling me that you didn't have a mirror. I did not see. have one. That's perfect. Do you like what you see, Mummy, in it? <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely, and you've opened everything up. <laughs> I've been putting opening everywhere in my mind. Uh, this is lovely. And this is the work from the car salon. Yep. And this is the fruit bowl that you bought in Emma yes. That's, That's wonderful. It's very pretty. I've ordered to match this one, which is a terrain. Oh, yeah. Philip's been arranging the dressing table, all the little areas around the bedroom. Oh, it's nice to be back here. See, I told you it would be nice to be yes, back. Yes, it is. Oh, oh, I've got a, a very nice spot on my bed. Oh, hmm. Things have improved here. I much prefer the view from up here since all the greenery in the courtyard. It feels like you have a little garden to look down onto That's now. Right. It's lovely. I love living here all the time, but it has to be said that some days are more special than others. And today, Mummy and Patty are in the house, the chicks are in the house, and now as I've come upstairs, I can hear Maria practicing the piano downstairs. It is idyllic. And I have an hour or so before the guest dinner. I was quite tempted to have a nap after my four hours of sleep last night, but I feel quite energized because of today. So I thought, no, what is a better use of my time? Going to sleep now or training my mind? I'm quite obsessed with brain training. I think it's from growing up in a nursing home for people with Alzheimer's because I know that studies show that the more we use our brains, the more we train them, the more we can push off dementia or hopefully hold it at bay altogether. And I want to do everything Thing I can to protect my mind and also to learn more about the world around me. So I used to do brain training. Oh, it sounds as though Maria's brain training on the piano is done for the day. You see, with Maria in the house, she's currently learning Korean as well as playing the piano like that and cooking for everybody. So we're all having to up our game just to try to get to her level. So recently I've been using Brilliant to do a little bit of training every day and I'm very happy to say that they have offered to sponsor this week's video with this ad. Brilliant.org is known to be the best way to learn about maths and computer science sciences interactively, but I've chosen to use it to learn about neural networks because I'm just fascinated with the workings of the human brain. Did you know that we have 80 billion neurons? And I'm also really interested in how AI is starting to develop and how they're using information about the human brain to develop AIs. So that's what I've chosen to do. But there are thousands of lessons that you can choose from, with new lessons being added monthly. And what I love about it is that it's built for busy people. So in bite-sized lessons with as little as 15 minutes of learning a day, Day, you can master whole topics and you can learn anywhere, anytime, and I quite like on my bed just before the guest dinner starts this evening. I have my 15 minutes of learning now. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, go to brilliant.org forward slash the Chateau Diaries or click on the link in the description box below. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's premium annual subscription. I'm going back to my neurons now before getting ready for tonight's dinner. 
Not only do we have new chicks and mummy arriving, but all of the guests have arrived for the weekend today. Mummy and Percy are out chatting to them. They won't be joining in with the guest dinner because it's a little bit late for them. And I think also with mummy's hearing, it's sometimes difficult when everybody is speaking at once around the table. So instead, they're going to be joining everyone for the aperitifs before the meal. And in here, things are looking pretty exciting. I've never seen this before, Maria. This is new. Neither have I. <laughs> so... <laughs> what is it? Uh, well, it's a starter. Okay, all oh, right. It's a uh, pickled rhubarb pompot and pear, let's call it salsa, with the uh, goat's cheese and terribly cream. Uh, this sounds rocket, amazing. And some wild strawberries and some bits and things. Okay, I'm pretty excited yeah. about that. Wow. So, I, don't, I like these plates a lot. Yeah, they're really nice. Yeah, they're really nice. The rosé is the finishing touch for the meal. <laughs> You like it? It's gorgeous. I more than like it. It's spraying on a table. I is love Marie look. or Pavlina? Because I know they're both doing flowers now. Ah, it's Marie. Really, really lovely. I love how the crystal makes little rainbows on the table. I know, because we've got the sunshine coming yes. through. And everyone's on the terrace. And and I never do any table, and uh, like any napkin fold, like interesting napkin folds. I thought, fun. little pyramids, quite elegant. You're right, I've never seen you do a fun... Ooh. Underneath. Yes, so that's why I did it. So a little surprise. Exactly. It's almost like eggs. it's almost like a little cloche. And every single one is different. And underneath it says what it is. So I thought we could do that. Yes. Everyone is at the table exactly between the starter and the main. I Everyone really could like turn it. the plates over and have a little look. I like the way you've hidden them. And of course, we don't usually use these because there's only seven. We only have seven. Yes. But tonight there's only six of us. Exactly. Percy, you're taking guest relations to a new level, I see. Yes, absolutely. It's hard to see Percy behind Max. No, absolutely. <laughs> but, like uh, Max go. decided he is looking after the kingdom. Yeah, he is. He's in charge. Well, welcome, Max. He reacts to that. Enjoy your supper. You look so pretty in that dress, Mummy. so much. Sweetie. No, you look really beautiful. The right thing with this. I don't think it needed it, I'm going to be honest, okay. but I love the dress. I knew I would have done something wrong. <laughs> Thank you, that looks so pretty. Oh, and it's got the signature dew drop. She has her famous drop. Yes, that's what I was thinking as I looked at it. Everybody in the world knows this drop because everybody loves it. So now we always need to have the dew drop. Yeah, yeah. I do, I do like it, yeah. It's, it's a nice touch, I think. Well, uh, tonight uh, we have an experimental starter. We have a uh, pickled rhubarb and pear salsa with um, either a cashew and tarragon cream or a goat's cheese and tarragon cream. And uh, salad from the garden and wild strawberries from uh, next to the greenhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. So much. Thank you. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. 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 Lovely to meet you all. Cheers. 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 Max has been making friends. Oh, there goes Hansel. He couldn't eat uh, this afternoon. He was so intimidated by the plants. <laughs> Normally, yes, yes. food is everything. Yes. He wouldn't? No. No, no, he wouldn't. Oh, because of the peacocks, do you yeah. think? No, he wouldn't no. touch his food. They won't hurt you, I promise. No, he, he's definitely getting curious. <laughs> I love how you can see it on the chest of Lovely. Uh, the main, we have either sea bass or cauliflower with lemon and vanilla, asparagus, uh, bulb potatoes, and roasted tomatoes. And I also forgot to say, I was very, I'm very, very sorry, that the uh, starter was inspired by Marie's salad that she made yesterday night. So I thought. Oh, it was amazing. I love the starter. Yes. Are you serving yeah. now, Mummy? I didn't know that <laughs> Did you were now. Make it? Oh, goodness, no. <laughs> <laughs> I am useless at cooking. I say that so I'm not as true. <laughs> <laughs> I can cook a bit. We have to hear what the delicious dessert oh, yeah, is. Yeah. Sorry. Well, I'm very, I'm very happy that they're still very much standing and growing and yeah, blossoming. So we've got a uh, vegan coconut, uh, lavender and Earl Grey cake with uh, cassis sorbet and we've got the uh, chocolate blossoming borage trees that is chocolate yeah. you are a culinary genius well Pavlina yeah. had to help me because we uh, we were joking about the fact that she being in the garden a lot more than i am has more experience with trees <laughs> <laughs> and it turned out with making trees happen as well so uh, they were corrected by Pavlina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
It's lovely. Thank you so much. It's so pretty. Thank you. Are these porch flowers? They are, yeah. Indeed. It's another spectacular morning at La Land and a day for transformations because Annalise is coming to do my hair. But first, I'm going to go and see the chicks. I'm so happy that you're here. Just, I smile every time I see you both. <laughs> There's also a very beautiful sight in here. Pavlina, mm -hmm. you A, look incredible. Oh, thank you. You do, you look like a model. Summer is here, yes. this is a summer look now. <laughs> and what are you doing at the moment? I'm making tea, or I'm gonna dry herbs. Um, I'm not, uh, I haven't decided yet if I'm drying them separately or like a mix. Yes. But uh, I have here the black currant leaves. Is that a thing for tea? Yes. yes. I didn't I just know smelled. that. Wow. Yeah. Uh, this is all the types of mint we have. Uh, so yes. we have like apple mint and peppermint and just normal mint. And then we have lemon balm and other stuff. <laughs> it is very nice. And this is strawberry, wild strawberry leaves. And that's also a thing? Yes, for tea. It has a lot of vitamin C. The same as wild strawberries. I love so, this so much. That's amazing because and not everyone will know, but you're quite famous for your teas in the house. It's true. Last summer we had amazing teas, totally different mixtures all the yeah. time from you. So I'm so glad to see it starting for the year. And now it's uh, already a season there. Uh, we have some of the salads sometimes, so uh, like strawberries. And yes. The leaves also we can use. And also when you take the leaves out, it gives uh, the plants more sun to like, you know, make keep creating new ones. And... Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Can't wait to try them. When are we going to get our first batch? Maybe today. Like, really? I will, I will leave some to dry in the, another room, but uh, we can just make a fresh, fresh one. Okay, oh. looking forward to it. <laughs> we brought three of the chicks out for their first ever look at the outside world. And they're very clever. They've immediately taken cover under a bench, so no predators can get them from above. It's so cute. I know, they're darling. But of course, this is a whole new thing. A whole new world to explore. We're going to leave them under the bench because I think they feel safer there. Because we're not going to leave them outside. <laughs> no, we're only coming out for two to three minutes. It's such a warm day that we can take them away from the heat lamp for a little bit. They're becoming a little bit bolder, starting to peck at things exploring the leaves we might take them away i'm not sure how good box hedging is for them at this point oh look like they're starting to peck at the ground so that's so adorable oh yeah now they're starting to enjoy it annalise you look incredible thank you i mean a you're super tanned and b the trousers fabulous put them in the sale last year love them We've come into Nick and Marie's house. We're going to be using the kitchen here as today's hair salon. And I've just seen this is where Pavlina is making her teas. All of the herbs are drying. She is so good at this. They're always delicious. It's incredible, isn't it? Even Amazing. things it like the, so good. there's blackberry leaves, uh, wild strawberry leaves. That's it's really amazing. not just herbs. Oh. oh, that's the one that smells so good. The mock orange blossom from behind the kitchen. Thank you for visiting the salon today. <laughs> We're going off to pick up a little parcel at Limoges. An adorable little parcel? Yes. A tartan little parcel? It could be wrapped up in tartan. <laughs> a little surprise of who it's going to be. <laughs> a <little> wonder. <laughs> Have a safe, safe thank drive. You. Thank you. Percy. Oh, you're looking for Percy, Mummy? Percy's outside. He's gone. <laughs> okay, have a safe journey. I love your hat. You look absolutely yeah, adorable. I like my hat. Somebody very kindly offered it to me. It's really smart. It is. It's very French, isn't it? And the colours. Yes. Bye bye. Be safe. Bye. Well, my hair's looking magnificent. Clearly, I'm going to have a very glamorous summer ahead of me. But it's lovely. And Lisa and I have just come in for a spot of lunch. And we can hear Maria practicing in the background for tonight's concert. recording. I thought it was the Alexa or something playing when I came in. It's 
Sorry about the presentation. It's <laughs> fine. I'm loving it. This but looks really good. I'm we always gonna... have the leftovers at lunch. So uh, carrot tops uh, and carrots. So you can get, you know, the whole, the full, the full the carrot full experience. Carrot. Yeah. Mine is the mud. <laughs> this looks a little mud-like, but I think that's Maria's hummus. Ham, various sliced cheeses, anchovies, they're really good. That's Mortadella, nice. parsley, uh, borage flour, mm. goat's cheese and olives. Perfect. It's a strange smorgasbord. Could one want? First, I'm going for Maria's pea puree with parsley and anchovies. Hair washed, so it's time for the big reveal. Gretel, come on. There are two women who need to get in there to make themselves look even half as beautiful as you with your magnificent hairstyle. Come on, we can't all just wake up in the morning looking like that. Wouldn't that be a dream if we could? <laughs> Annalise has just finished and I love the colour. I think this is my favourite so far. Do you know what? I'm loving it as well. I'm so glad we went with the biscuit. The biscuit. No wonder we love it. <laughs> Great um, name. But yeah, it's a really, really And the really little tinge colour. of red. Yes, just put the red in oh. to, to neutralise some of that ash and the dark, the dark love pieces it. underneath. So. That, no more mouse. No more. No more mouse. I think I see a little tartan bundle of joy arriving. Who could it possibly be? Oh, baby one. Hello, Jill. I love your hair. Thank you. Just had it done. That looks lovely. Did you notice or did mummy give you a hug? Hugs, 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 hugs. <laughs> I love you. I brought you some just for you. What? Did mummy stop and steal elderflower on the yeah, side of the road? It's embarrassing. Yes. Mummy, it's all over your glasses. <laughs> uh -huh. You're covered. I thought you had freckles. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, that look just, you know, it looks like Spider-Man. I didn't know that the hat was for, you know, running away with, what is it called, like a swag bag? Well, is that... It's an elder bag. We, we stopped, and I says, why are we stopping? And Mummy says, we I can make beautiful one. things with these. <laughs> and well, and Pavlina's says, going to be very pleased with you. Well, that's why. But you know, there, there aren't much. Uh, many, but I found this one. And uh, I, I could not reach very high. You can't take her anywhere. Can't even take her back to apologise. <laughs> <laughs> Gerald, Absolutely lovely. you are the first person who's going to be sleeping in the royal suite bed. Stephanie, oh lovely. And See Stephanie, the spot of tartan? This, I've spotted the tartan here and the chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. There, you can just sit in the loo and feel at home. Come in. Ah, oh, hello. Thank you for inviting me in. Yes, now, what position are you applying for? Uh, I thought maybe chief creator of vlogs? I think we've got enough of them here. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all for joining us for more La Land Life. I would like to say a huge thank you to all of my patrons and a reminder that this week's video is Mummy's first visit to the garden after all of her months away. We do a full tour of the vegetable garden the new English garden, the woods, and of course the courtyard. And Mummy doesn't hold back on saying exactly what she thinks of everything. Darling, I love it. Oh, really? Yes, I love it. <laughs> if he was here, I would give him such a hug. That's a good thing to hear because you did definitely say we shouldn't be doing it. But it's work, you see. But you love it. That's oh, the thing. Of course I love it. He, does, he has I, done I a lovely design. Managing it. Today, I would like to say a special thank you to the Dauphins and Dauphines of La Land, David Smith, Joe Avon, Joan Cunningham, Crazy Cat Lady of New England, and Zoe Dorks. Thank you for supporting the Chateau Diaries. But can we go and look at the woods? Of course. Thank you. <gasps> okay, that has to be done. And look at that, look at that. Yeah. They're going to see it all over there. Oh my goodness, let's manage this place. Hmm. And if you haven't yet seen our glorious day at the Chelsea Flower Show with Davey, going onto the gardens and chatting to the designers about their inspiration and their goals, that's over on my other channel, Stephanie's Grand Tour of Europe, and I'll put a link to that now. See you all on Sunday.